Welcome back. I'm Laura from Front Office Rocks. And like I say, I say in every video, I think I'm super excited they're here. Um, I am using YouTube as a platform to help offices um, answer questions, start conversations, just you know, deal with things that we have happening on a day-to-day -day basis. And I had a question come in recently about end of the year insurance letters. It is October. There's my little pumpkin to show you what time of the year it is when you're watching this video. It's October right now, almost the end of the year. And somebody's asking, should we send our end of the year insurance letters? So I want to talk about that because yes, you should send end of the year insurance letters. Patients for some reason, and I don't know why, if I could figure this out, I'd, I'd try to fix this problem, but they tend to forget that they have insurance and that a majority of them end at the end of the year. So that is why we get busy at the end of the year with people calling and saying, oh, I have to use my insurance. I know it's frustrating and it's good in a way because we're getting our patients in, but we need to do our best to help our patients remember that if they want to maximize their insurance and not lose it, that they need to get in to get their dentistry done. Now, I think the letters, whether it's letters or emails or however you want to do it, there's lots of ways to do this now are important to send out. And the sooner you send them out, the better. So here's my actual suggestion about end of the year insurance letters. Don't do it at the end of the year because we're already gonna be busy. So like if you haven't sent them yet and you watch this video, send them. I'm not saying don't send them, okay? So if it's November or December, send them because we wanna get our patients in and use their insurance if they, if they want to and still have treatment to get done. But here's my suggestion, send the end of the year insurance letters back in August, back in September. I don't know about your practice, but in my practice, we tended to be less busy in August and September. People were on vacation, it was summer, they were going away, going back to school. And so August and September were our slower months where October, November, December, we get busy just by default because people are trying to use their insurance and get in and use the, their flex spending money or health savings account. So. If you watch this video any other time of the year, set a reminder for yourself to send out your end of the year insurance letters in August and September. And I would do it a couple times because I don't know about you, but like Monday morning, I'm going through my emails and sometimes I just delete emails that I'm like, I don't have time to read this, but maybe on a Thursday or Friday, I have more time. So I would send two or three letters. I would start as early as August and let your patients know in the letter, the reason you're sending this out now is they're gonna have a better opportunity to get the time of day or the day of week that they want to get their treatment done versus at the end of the year when you guys are gonna be busier and they're gonna to have to get squeezed in because it's harder to find appointments. Make it a win-win for your patient. Make them understand the reason that you're sending this out early is to get them in what, that, what works best for them and before they get busy with the holidays and you guys get busy with the holidays. So my question or my answer to the question, should we send end of the year letters? Yes, you should do it. The sooner the better, August, September, if you're watching this any other time of the year, then try to send them out earlier than later. If it's October, November, December, and you haven't sent them out, send them out, send them out now. And I would say, Probably not, if it's the end of the year and you're scrambling, probably not in a written letter that you mail because that's gonna take a while to get there. Do an email campaign. Get on the phone with whatever company you use for emails and do a quick email campaign. Maybe not send it to your whole insurance, uh, people who still have insurance list at once. Maybe send half one day and a couple days later, send it to the other half. Otherwise, you might get bombarded with a million phone calls at once but do whatever makes sense for your practice to help your patients remember that they have insurance left and they need to use it before the end of the year. So again, thank you for these amazing questions. Put more down in the comments if you have any. Subscribe, share this with other people in dental so that we can get as many people as possible in this discussion talking about all the things we need to do in the dental office. So thanks guys. If you're watching this in October, happy Halloween. Anytime, other time of the year, make sure you're sending your letters in August or September.